I'm here with the main event, Mohamed Shazli. How are you feeling? Feeling great. Just done your weight cut. Yeah. Talk us about the whole of your weight cut then. What have you come from? What have you come down to? That was the easiest weight cut I've ever done. <laughs> like, I didn't even need to sauna anything this morning. The only reason I was late was like, traffic was really bad. <laughs> he is lying. <laughs> Why would I lie to you guys? <laughs> no sauna, no nothing. Just woke up. But you usually fight at 77. Yeah. Obviously you find it middle weight now. Why is it that you've decided to come up away fast? Because me going down to 77 was really hard. Yeah. So I thought I'll just get bigger, stronger, and like grow it into a natural middleweight. Mm -hmm. Sound. You're fighting Des Parker. Yeah. Tell us about Des. Really nice guy, like I spoke to him. We were speaking on Instagram like an hour ago. Yeah. Yeah, great fighter. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good fight. Why is it a good fight for you? He's experienced, he has really good jiu-jitsu, he's already beaten me in jiu-jitsu, but like, it doesn't count unless he beat me twice. So right now we're still, it was, it's still a name now. And this time you can do what? Yeah, this time I can punch it. Yeah. Um, so, obviously you have fought <coughs> against each other in a jits competition. He's a black belt, you're a brown belt. I know there's not much in that. Yeah. But is that something you want to face in the cage? Do you want it to be a grappling bout? Or do you want to be striking with him? Uh, like, I have a general game plan, but honestly, I don't mind going anywhere. It's an MMA fight. We yeah. need to do, like, MMA. Mm -hmm. Cool. Just tell us about your fight camp, then. How's it gone? Preparing for Des? It's been really good. Lots of sparring. Just sparring light heavyweights. Just so, like, I'm used to, like... So I know what it's like to fight a middleweight, because, like, I'm looking at, like, the future. Mm. Yeah, because, like, I'm going to stay on middleweight. Cool, alright then. Um, you've had quite a long time out yeah. as well. It's been what, a year and three months did you say? Yeah. What's that been like for you mentally? Uh, it's been alright, I've been chilling a lot, but it's not what I wanted to do. Like, staying at home doing nothing and waiting for fights is nice, but like at the end of the day I want to compete like yeah. every three months. We found it quite hard, obviously this isn't the first time we've tried to match uh, Shazley. We've tried quite a few shows, haven't we? But yeah. you are... Well, we're almost there. Yeah, one more day to go. You have been hard to match, though, yeah. because, I mean, a lot of people look at you. Your current record, 5-1, and one, and they've looked at you in, in the past the amateur record. That was, that was pretty good as well. Not that great for me to uh, It's experience, yeah, it's experience. People, I think, when I put your name to other people, they knew they were in for a war, basically. Yeah. And, and I'm guessing that's exactly what you're going to be giving Des tomorrow. I feel like that's what Des wants. Yeah, I think he does. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, vibes well at the gym. Everyone's excited to let you fight. Yeah, everything's good. Cool. Um, have you got anything that you want to say to supporters? Uh, I hope I'll the show for you guys. And yeah, drive safe, I guess. Don't drink too much when you're here. <laughs> He has just done his weight cut, so he's a bit, <laughs> a bit drained. But no, we're really excited to see you fight. Um, I'm really, really excited for the main event. Yeah, thank you. I do think that people are going to get what they've, what they've paid for. Yeah. And all the best, basically. Oh, thank you. We'll see you then. See you tomorrow. Cool. See you tomorrow.